<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and welcome back to part two. What am I? Two. Two of this video right here. Hopefully this should just be the second part. So this is part two, the second part of upgrading this Xbox right here. Now, for anybody who did not tune into part one, if you want to watch it, cool. If not, it's all good. Uh, but... I ended up taking this Xbox right here. It is a version 1.2 system. I end up TSOP flashing it with a 256 kilobyte BIOS, and it still has the original 10 gigabyte hard drive in here. Um, I think it's been fat flashed with the M8 Plus 2 or something like that BIOS. Uh, either way, it is good to go for a hard drive upgrade, which uh, on the last episode, so part one, we got a hard drive that we're gonna throw in this system. It is a one terabyte uh, Western Digital SATA drive. Now, uh, I also ended up getting a hold of several of these things right here, which, eh, it opens up. There we go. Uh, it is a IDE to SATA converter interface. So logically, you should hook both these up. It works in the Xbox. Did not work. Reason being is that we also, if you uh, go to a SATA drive, it is, from what I see, a requirement that you have to upgrade the uh, IDE wires in here, or the IDE cable. Uh, the IDE cable in the original Xbox is a 40-wire IDE cable. Uh, it, does, it didn't supply enough power to power this one terabyte SATA drive, so we have to upgrade that from a 40-wire to an 80-wire. I actually had some, but they were more designed for floppy drives, and they just kept coming out, so I kind of hit a dead end there. So I put the original hard drive back in, close it up, and uh, end up ordering the parts. And check it out. We got some. This should be... I'm going to open it up on camera here for the first time. I'm really hoping this is long enough. I'm, I'm really hoping this is long enough. Uh, but this is a... There we go. Alright, it's supposed to go that way. I'm just thinking of when we put in the system, like goes in the Xbox, and this part goes in the DVD drive, and this part goes in the hard drive. Uh, this is a 80 wire IDE cable that we are going to hopefully fit in and upgrade properly. So, let's try and uh, make this part two worthwhile. Let's go ahead and, if I don't drop everything, uh, rip open this Xbox and finish the job. Oh, hey guys, I, uh, I'm also going to have to actually cut this part short. Um, I just found out I might have to stop the video. Um, there is a sticker right here that says, Do not open. Taking apart or modifying the Xbox may lead to electrical shock, fire, or damage to the Xbox and will avoid your warranty. Alright, so now we are inside the Xbox, and uh, I'll kind of bring the, uh, the camera over here. Not sure if you all can see that. This is the same console, because that is the one where I end up uh, botching up that, uh, which one was it? Uh, that pad. So, I forgot the name right there. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and, uh, of course, work on the same console here. Uh, but I have the IDE cable disconnected. See, looks like this one is pretty long compared to this other cable here. Uh, but let's go ahead and give this all a shot. So, first off, what we can do is take this. I forgot where the. Where is, no. This way. I heard I was supposed to go in this way. I'm quite sure. Alrighty. Let me grab this, grab the hard drive, and. This is supposed to go in just like so. So we have that connected. These are again the same types that were recommended prior. Um, and let me check. That is a little bit bent, which is kind of concerning, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, this is set to master as well. Um, so I'd seen another guide online that was actually recommending to take it out to get it into cable select mode. Uh, but we're going to try it, you know, with this anyway. So we'll give this all a shot here. no derp it's actually supposed to go this other way so what I'm gonna do is let's hook up our power so got that going 
and let's start hooking up the IDE cable. So this is our IDE cable that we're going to be using. We'll go ahead and uh, check to see for the, uh, the moment of truth here, what happens when I plug this in. And good news, good news everyone, it actually stays in. See, if I tug on it, it's, uh, it's bringing the system back up. Uh, the issue I was having before was with that other type of IDE cable I had, um, when I would pop it in, it didn't have it, it didn't have enough support right there to actually stay in the IDE port. So I could just like tug it like that, and it would pop back out, um, which is not what we want, obviously. Uh, I could also show you all a little comparison while we're here too. So this this one that I'm holding, this is the 80 pin cable. This is the upgrade. This right here is the 40 um, or 40 wire cable, excuse me. Uh, and I'm gonna also kind of get close there and let this focus in and if it doesn't focus in, I'm gonna have to focus for it there it's doing a little bit better so as you can see those are like you, you can see the grooves right there you can see how they're really spaced out on this one they're not they're a lot closer together that's because as I said this is a 80 wire cable as opposed to the stock one which is a 40 wire cable which the stock one is fine um, if you're just going to you know be playing games off the disk drive you want to use the system and you're gonna use an IDE hard drive that's fine uh, but apparently this not only uh, increased the speed, some people say like, well, not really FTP speed, more uh, tr like, you know, speed that the console can, oh man, my dog barking everywhere. <laughs> Hold on, let me, uh, let me let her finish her barking fit. All right, we good. Uh, anyways, the thing with uh, these cables here is apparently they can uh, not only supply more power to the hard drive like we're doing here, uh, but they will also allow for uh, faster read and write speeds between the DVD drive, the system, and the hard drive. Um, obviously not writing to the DVD drive, but you all know what I mean. Uh, apparently, though, it doesn't increase speeds for uh, FTP transfers, which that's fine. Really, I'm not too concerned about that. I just want to get this working. Uh, so, let's go ahead and take this. And we're kind of going to have to bend it certain ways, which this I'm not going to be doing, you know, the 100% way right here. I just want to get it all hooked up. Uh, but let's go ahead, if I can, hook this up to the DVD drive. It is hooked up to the DVD drive. Let me hook up the DVD drive to power. Make sure this goes in the right way so we don't fry anything. That's looking good. And there we go. I don't care if the DVD drive's crooked right now. Um, and then we're going to have to hook this thing up to the hard drive right here. So let me just kind of get in here, hook it up like so. So there we go. I mean, of course, some people might be yelling at, you know, the cable kind of crinkling and all that stuff. Look, we're going to bend it in a bit, all right? It's fine. We're going to bend it in a bit. Uh, we just want to make sure everything is working right here. So I have the hard drive hooked up to power and data. I have the DVD drive hooked up to power and data. And I have everything hooked back up to the motherboard itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and hook this up to the monitor and see what happens when we try and boot this up. All right, so I uh, kind of have everything slopped together a bit, but uh, as you can see, the DVD drive, I mean, it's an angle. Everything's at a bit of an angle, but it should work. You know, hard drive is hooked up, DVD drive is hooked up. Let me uh, go ahead and bring this back over here, and we're gonna give this thing some power. So let me grab the power cable. Let's hope nothing, no sparks fly. All right, all right, all right. Power's plugged in, nothing yet. All right, let's go ahead, turn this thing on. So, of course it's going to air out. I'm not gonna be surprised about this. There we go. Well, maybe, let's see. So it's giving us an air 16 at this point, which, I mean, that's fine, really. It's giving us those lights. Uh, it definitely, gave us that air quite a bit faster. I can't tell if the hard drive's on or not, but uh, there's at least a red LED in there. Uh, so I'm going to try and pop in a recovery ISO and uh, see if that helps out, which I'm going to use a Hexen 2017 for this. All right, so go ahead, open, close, off, on, and let's see what happens here.
I hear that hard drive churning, so that's at least good news. Linux! Alright, let's see what happens. Ah! Haha! -ha! Look! We got it! We got it! Alright, so I'll just go ahead and uh, walk you all through the process here. So, I'll pull both triggers and start to continue. Pull pro both triggers and start again. It's going to format all these drives here. Alright, do you have a drive F? Uh, let's go ahead and say, pull both, press start. Formatting drive F. Since we have a custom BIOS that allows for uh, all the drives and all that fun stuff. So, there we go. Press that to continue, it's going to go to Unleash X, and uh, let's fire this thing up. So, good news is, this is working, thankfully, because uh, if the hard drive was not working, we couldn't have even uh, booted up a disk. Alright, so there we go, perfect. Uh, now, what we're going to need to do for this is, uh, let me go ahead and go over to, let's see, it might be 3, 3.5, and new disk NTSC Xbox. So, I think it's AYBX. Here we go, yes, AYBX, that's a password, all right. Use the option to build a new disk on TSOP chipped Xbox, it also in installs the crazy Inter 1.1.1 game saves. And then uh, once XB Partitioner 1.3 launches, we're going to format the drives that we want to. All right, cool. Let's go ahead, hit OK. Hit OK on that. And continue. And if your Xbox soft mod, this will remove your soft mod. Continue, yes. All right, so we're going to nuke our hard drive again. Nuke it. And I want to go ahead and format the F drive. And there we go. Now we just let uh, everything do its magic. So it's going to copy everything it needs to from the DVD to the hard drive, and then it's going to install everything. And perfect, this time it got through the install, so I wasn't too worried about that. I think it's more just the uh, the media I burned it to. I burned it to a verbatim disc, which uh, sounds good, but trust me, they're actually like, these just regular DVD uh, plus R's or minus R's, they're not really that good. Even though they say verbatim, they're cheap media. Load them up in a DVD Im like image burn or something, look up the disc ID, you'll see what I mean. Uh, anyways, let me see here, so. We have 120 gigabytes on this. We have this drive here, which, you know what? I might just even combine these two at one point. So what I might do is, let's see. So here we go. This is what I want to do. I want to just uh, put everything right here, extend this partition out as much as I can. Uh, so I do have the access for a F drive, which does help. Uh, really, for the original Xbox, uh, you're limited to, at most, a two terabyte hard drive. But because of LBA48, uh, you can't have more than about a terabyte worth of each partition. So that's why, you know, something like this would work or something like this would work. Uh, but since we are doing a one terabyte hard drive and I did take this into account, this will be more than enough space for me. And I can just put everything on one partition, uh, which is where I'm going to install my games and all that stuff. So I'll just say press start to write, press Y to continue. Partition table has been written. It's formatting, and my dog is just chilling here. Hey, Lily, what's up? Can you get out of the way, please? Can you get out of the way? Hey, no! All right, and let's go ahead, press B, press any other button to quit. So I'm going to press uh, back on that. It's going to quit out, and let's see what happens. Lily, I need you to move because I have an opened up Xbox right here, and you're hanging out inside of all my cables. And what I'll do here, I've actually run into this issue a few times before where it just goes to a black screen when you exit. So I'm going to turn off the Xbox. So completely fresh start here. We're going to turn it on. No disk is in the drive. And I can hear the hard drive spinning. And Microsoft is down there, so that's a good sign. It glitched out. It's fading. Let's see. Let's see. 
There we go. Awesome. And would you look at that? We have our small C drive, our moderate size E drive, and our huge F drive right there. That is exactly what we're wanting, so perfect. Uh, one other thing though is if you press this, XBMC does not pop up uh, because it doesn't install automatically. So I'm actually going to use Hexen again and I'm going to install XBMC on this. And I'm actually doing a restart here. I didn't finish that up because uh, I figured if I'm just installing XBMC, I might as well install whatever the latest build off of the Hexen 2017 disc is. So I popped in 2017 and we're just going to install XBMC through this. All right, so let's go over to install applications, install XBMC. I'm just gonna put this on the E drive. Yes, all right. And fantastic, we have that copied over, so I'm just going to eject my Hexen disk right here. Uh, turn off the system again. Turn it back on. Again, fresh boot, uh, no disk in the drive. And here we go. All right, so if I launch XBMC, for example, look at that, loading XBMC, and everything's installed on this, so awesome. Uh, let me also check and see what else has been put on here. Uh, I'll go ahead and go down here. Eh, I'll just reboot. And let's check for our application. So there's no games on there, of course. Game copy disk is there. Game save manager, all that stuff is there. Excellent. Skins, I can change all that. Admin stuff, yep, all also there. Fantastic, so if I need to rip anything over. Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, for this, the reason why I put in a one terabyte drive is because uh, I wanted to have, you know, plenty of space to allocate for any other Xbox games I was gonna get, but I have my entire original Xbox library ripped over um, like I've ripped all the discs myself and a two like a 250 gigabyte hard drive is not enough for that uh, my thing is I'd like to have all of the discs that I own just installed on one Xbox and I, that would be nice that'd be convenient uh, instead of just having to pick and choose and then of course you know whenever I do pick up more original Xbox games I could just rip them over with ease so that's why I went with the one terabytes because overall I think my uh, my games total about 350 360 gigabytes something like that it's over 300 gigabytes that's all I know so uh, let's go ahead and uh, now this is working beautifully I might add I'm going to turn this thing off uh, unhook the power and we're going to try and put everything back together. All right, so first off I'm going to unplug power I'm Going to unplug the AV as well because we really don't need that and now let's get this all situated. So uh, one of the first things I want to do here is Of course unplug this if I can Maybe Maybe Just got to be a bit careful with it uh, and I'm going to screw the hard drive in so it's not wiggling around everywhere. Okay, so moving this all over here. Got those two screws in, going to get these other two inside, just so we don't have screws running around everywhere. All right, so all of those are done. I'm going to put this over on the side here, if I can. And now we have to get this situated. So again, we have this, ooh, a little bit hot. Uh, but we have this all on the drive on this side. Let's go ahead, kind of move this over if I can. Alright, so got the DVD drive popped in. Now let's go ahead. I'm going to physically drop in the hard drive here. And then we'll worry about, you know, 
making everything look pretty, I guess. We load all this up. So, wires loaded up there. Let's go ahead and get this dropped. Everything seems to be fine on that. And can we get this loaded here? Let me at least copy this. Not copy, but at least pop that over. And will we be able to? That will be a good question. So we might not be able to do this properly here. All right, so a bit of a painstaking process later, and it's not perfect by any means, but looks like we at least got it in there. Not sure how much that crinkle is going to, you know, hurt or damage anything. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, I wanted to say a huge shout out to this guy right here. Uh, just like you know the previous guy in my other uh, video in part one, uh, this is Mod Hiri, I want to say. I literally just looked up, like, how to fold... 80 pin IDE cable and Xbox and he has this like this right here which is original Xbox how to fold an eight an IDE 80 pins SATA cable and uh, I followed the guide it's super easy to do <laughs> I didn't even need voice or anything it's literally just really pictures and text and uh, looks like we got it here so now we're going to fire this up again and see if it works and if it does work we can close it all up so uh, let's go ahead and do that I'm going to plug this up here. Where is power? Power, 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 power. All right. Nothing. We're good. We're good. All righty. Cool. And so we have this here. Do, 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 do. There we go. Just kind of focus a bit. Uh, I'm going to start this up. I definitely heard the hard drive. And let's see what happens. Oh, okay. It's churning. It's churning. Hey, Lily. You want to see what's going on with the Xbox? Figure it out. Oh. <laughs> Adam Corlick, we don't need you here right now. Although I would also recommend checking that guy out as well. My, uh, my autoplay just played this video. And there we go. As you can see, hard drive is running and everything properly on there. So, looks like we're good. I'm going to just turn that off. Again, kind of just give you all a look right there. All that stuff is inside. Still lighting up red from that, uh, that adapter there. So, we have a nice hidden red light. I'm going to turn this thing off. And let's put it all back together and do one final test. Alright, so, have everything screwed back in. I want to do one final test to make sure everything is fine on here. So, again, I'm going to take my AV, hook it up, let me grab my power. Where the hell is power? I always lose this cable. There we go. Plug this up, and we're going to check and make sure this thing boots up. So, we got the console here turned off. Go and do a cold start on it. Come over here. Custom BIOS, of course. And wait for it. There we go. Microsoft sign. Always a good sign. It glitched out. It's fading. And... There we go. Cool. Alright, so... We have our uh, Xbox upgrade at this point. I have to do the most important thing to this system. I need to uh, change out and replace. Man, focus! I need to change out and replace this sticker. All right, so I'm gonna try and do this one-handed, but uh, out with the old. Take the new sticker, plop it right there, and in with the new. There we go. Perfect. Went from a. Uh, a 10 gigabyte hard drive all the way up to a one terabyte hard drive. I'd say that's just 
just a little bit of an upgrade, don't you think? Just a tiny bit, you know, it's uh, worth, you know, changing a couple characters there. Anyways, that is it for this Xbox right here. Uh, looks like it's we're done with our work, at least internally. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I have a couple things. Uh, one of them is I'm going to probably right before I go to bed just uh, hook this up to my network, uh, FTP into it, and transfer all of my games that I have overnight. So when I wake up in the morning, I'll have every single Xbox game I own on the system right here. Uh, the second thing I need to do at one point is actually clean this up externally, which it's not too bad, admittedly. It's really not all that bad, especially for, you know, how old it is. This thing was manufactured December 3rd of 2003. So we're going on almost 15 years of delicious grime on the system, man. It's a lot of history. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Thank you for sticking around for part two. Very much appreciated. A, uh, you know, kind of a overall thing at the end. Ooh, I feel the hard drive there. I feel it. Again, we took this uh, completely stock Xbox, and uh, was this the stock one? No, I think this one was soft mod. But the point is, we took the system that was originally at least soft mod. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure this was the soft mod one. Yes, let's say it was. Took the system that was soft modded, uh, we took it apart, we removed the clock capacitor to preserve that so it doesn't leak all over the place. Uh, we ended up uh, replacing the 40-pin IDE cable with an 80-pin IDE cable. We upgraded from a 10-gigabyte hard drive to a 1-terabyte SATA hard drive off that old IDE standard, even though it has the IDE adapter on there. And on top of all that, we also TSOP flashed it with a custom BIOS, so unless I go crazy messing with BIOS, uh, I don't really need to worry about ever getting a mod chip for the system. This essentially is a chipped system without the chip, which is pretty nice. Anyways, signing off real this time. Later, everyone. If you liked the video, a like would very much be appreciated. If you absolutely hated it, a dislike is fine as well, too. Let's get this thing sorted.